back everyone. I hope you're feeling crafty today. My name is Siberia from Chasing Siberia and today we're going to be making cupcake candles. Now this was requested on my DIY glitter video by a fan. Um, I like how they turned out but they weren't exactly what I was going for so I will be remaking this video in the near future um, as soon as I figure out how I want to do it. So be on the lookout for this video continued. However, we are going to continue with what I did make. As I said, I do like them. They just didn't turn out the way I wanted them to turn out. Um, and I can put a picture of that right here. <laughs> that was the look I was going for. Unfortunately, the way I wanted to do it or the way I thought I was going to do it didn't really turn out to be such a good idea. Um, and I will probably explain that in the video later on. Um, so let's get started with what you need for this DIY. So let's get started. The things you will need are white candles, crayons, a grater, silicone or paper cupcake liners. I prefer silicone because they are reusable. First thing you're going to do is remove the wicks if you're able to. It's not as easy as shown here. Sometimes it is harder to remove them, in which case just find a way to remove them like I had to. You can also buy taper candles and break them in half to get the wicks. Next, start grating the candles down into little bits, which will make it easier to melt down. You're going to want a lot, depending on how many candles you want. Make sure to have enough for the base of the cupcake and the frosting. You don't need to double broiler this if you keep the heat setting on low. You'll also want to keep an eye on the pan. Don't leave it alone. Make sure to stir it occasionally. Once the wax is melted, grab a brown crayon and cut off a little bit, adding it to the melted wax. Adding a little bit of brown will give it the appearance of a vanilla cupcake. Adding more brown will give it the appearance of a chocolate cupcake. Before you pour melted wax into the cupcake liner, you'll want to place a little wax on the wick and place it in the middle. Now you're ready to pour the base into the cupcake liner. Allow that to cool and harden, which didn't really take that long for me. You can either leave them in the liner or you can take them out. For the frosting, you will need to melt a new batch of wax. If you plan on melting different colors, you'll want to plan for how much wax you use and how much wax you grate down. You don't have to add a crayon if you want just plain white frosting. Just a quick note, I did end up messing up the purple cupcake because I was trying to use a cake frosting bag and tip, which is kind of what I was talking about earlier in the video when I said that my plan for certain things didn't really go my way, thus I didn't create the cupcake that I wanted to. But I'm going to skip over this part and instead show you how I made the other two cupcakes. Once you take the wax off the heat, you'll want to transfer it into a bowl where you will keep stirring until you get a thick consistency. One almost like super soft frosting. Then you can mold it onto the cupcake. And there you have it. As you can see, the purple one didn't come out so well, but I still use it because why not? Anyways, the pink and the blue cupcake came out really well. Again, it isn't what I wanted to do exactly, but I'm happy with the end results. Before you go, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you like what you saw, why not give it a like and share with your friends. If you're new around here, definitely subscribe as we upload DIYs every Tuesday and Thursday, as well as a variety of other videos. 
I also did start a Patreon. If you guys would like to help support the channel by donating a dollar or more a month, you would receive access to my videos earlier by one day, as well as a variety of other goodies. If you recreate this DIY, definitely use the hashtag Chasing Creations, and if I come across it, I will drop a like and a comment on your photo. Um, if I get enough people who use the hashtags, once I reach that thousand subscriber mark, I will definitely make a thank you video with your guys' creations in said video. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, links for that will be in the description below. And lastly, I would like to say thank you again for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one, and stay crafty.